<laughs> Sounds like a race car. Mr. Marsh with Mesa RC Foam Fighters, and we've got Matt Miller here. We're both kind of teaming up on a project. Since the weather is getting kind of bad outside, we decided to um, come up with a new design. And it's not necessarily a new design, it's been done before on YouTube, but in terms of what we've got here, we figured we might give it a try. And it's called the Hydrofoams. They look like race boats, but you can put them on ground. 
um, and they go from the ground to the air and then they can even go to the water. So uh, we kind of messed around with a few designs. Um, I did the F1 Scorpion. Uh, it's okay, it's a little too big. I think from the video you guys saw that I mean, it, it's pretty fast. Uh, we're using a Super Mega Jet. Um, same setup as what we put in the RC Foam Fighter planes. Um, but the center of gravity was all off and I didn't like the way the prop was set up and, and where it was because obviously we can't can't do anything except for being on a gym floor. Can't go on grass that just acts as a weed whacker. And when I try to get it up in the air, the center of gravity is so messed up. So I think after this prototype that we done that we did here, I think we're going to go to something where the props in the back. So it kind of gives us a little more space, and so we can go over all all the different terrains, and hopefully that'll allow us to move the battery forward and back for a center of gravity because everything's shifted forward and still still is tail heavy. Um, Matt's did his. Matt, you want to talk about yours? Uh, yeah. So I did the HF2 um, Blitzkrieg. Um, I kind of wanted to go with a smaller hull here. And then uh, I just kind of went from scratch and just made it look kind of cool. And I put an air duct here, right here. Um, and then I had my spoiler. And then I have two rudders right here and right here. And then I haven't cut my elevrons, but they'll be right here. So. Yeah, the elevrons that he's talking about, since mine's done already, that we just put them in the back here um, with the one rudder control, and that allows us to do whatever we want on the ground. And in terms of getting in the air, we just throw both these up, and that lifts in the air. But I think Matt's actually going to have, hopefully, have a little more success because his plant, his is a little bit smaller. I think that if. You know, we'll figure out from both of these designs whether or not we need to go smaller um, and put the prop in the back. Matt, you're still going to put your prop in the front, right? Um, I guess it could go either way at this point. Um, I could cut a slot here for the prop, but I designed it for the front. Okay. I think Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. This is part one, so we're going to mess with these designs first and, and still play around. They're still fun. We put some carbon, uh, carbon rods on this because we were damaging it and breaking it up, but... Um, they are definitely a lot of fun so far, and, and we'll probably just mess around on ground until we get comfortable in driving on the ground with the rudder and, and the ailerons. And then um, we'll start worrying about the next step was actually trying to get them in the air and actually keeping them in the air, and, 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 uh, which I definitely think we have enough power to do. It's just a matter of getting the design uh, worked out. Cool? All right, thanks for watching.